Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Stu and this is part four of the VJ Scenario Pack. Compound Park, a park with two different climates provides a great source of variety. Your objective, to achieve a park value of at least 300,000 at the end of October year four. Oh wow, okay. Two very different climates and there's some sort of little village or something going on over there we've got tons of cash and we've got a loan available at quite a cheap rate as well um let's have a look see what rides we've got then we've got some transport rides um not a bad selection of gentle rides to be got to be honest um an okay selection of coasters considering the what the goal is um a couple of thrill rides decent selection water rides and shops no kiosk i think considering the amount of rides we've got available and the time we've got as well i'm going to research shops probably for at least the first year um we've got a huge amount of land available it's very flat as well um so i'm just gonna build pretty much maybe one of everything well that that's the plan anyway so don't be put off by these park value they are quite easy um some of the golden rules are number one park value is linked to the ride stats so the higher the ride stats the higher park value um also let's have a think what else um if you have duplicates of rides then th you get a penalty for that where am i going to put i'll put that there so ideally you want one of everything but if you are going to put a duplicate down i don't know why i've put him down first handyman is probably what i wanted first just wanted to see where it lined up if you are going to put down duplicates then you might as well put down lords of the same type rather than just doing two so let's I think we'll just have it a path coming straight along here. Park is closed as well. Free entry as well, so I didn't check that. So let's just pop some stuff down. We need, what did we need? 300,000 was it? 300,000. We can probably get, I would have thought 100,000 easily just by doing um the flat rides and things like that to begin with maybe leave a space will we leave a space let's have a look let's just see where it lines up yes and also we can leave a space just in case we want to build something funky around the outside as well about there we don't want a, a huge queue but i want it big enough what's the what's this what is 15 guests maybe i could have put it back a little bit further so four four guests per tile will fit on that path so four eight twelve sixteen twenty 24 so that queue can handle 24 people which is enough for a full ride and a little bit left over if it rains a lot then guests will flock to this ride because it's classed as an indoor ride open that up what else have we got
I probably won't bother changing the price on that because I'm only going to have to change it at some point. Doesn't give you a lot of time, does it? Put that back a little bit further. This is going to higher capacity. Where is it? 30 guests. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. Probably could have done with it being a bit further back, but that's fine. I mean, we're never going to make a huge sum of cash just from these gentle rides but they will keep us ticking over and they will bring guests into the park and they will give them something to do what else we got i'll save the i'll save that How are we doing? What else have we got? Let's do a little four by four ride. Have I left a big enough gap? I have. Oh, nearly pressed the wrong thing. Now, at the moment, there isn't a lot going on over here, but maybe in the future, we'll have something that it can interact with. We could also have it coming up this way.
Let's just try and make it a, a little bit more interesting. Twenty four cars, that's not bad. Set to the four? Maybe a bit more be excited enough. I don't know. Let's put down some shops now. Uh, usually, I usually charge about two for shops like drinks, pizza, burgers, that sort of thing, and then. And there you go, raw sausage. That's a definite two as well. And then things like the funnel cake shop. I usually charge maybe a pound profit. Could probably charge more. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste too much time overthinking it. Um Once the trucks hasn't come back yet. We won't get huge value increases until we start building the coasters. Um, one thing as well with the value, I did say that it's linked to the stats. Um, they do depreciate over time. So what you want to do really is you want to save your big hitters for the final year. So it's not going to depreciate. All this rain. So I'm glad I did choose. Oh, there you go. We've got the kiosk. You know, we've got loads of cash. I want more. I think we could probably. Build our first coaster. What shall we build? A side friction coaster. is always a test of nerves because this is one of the ones that can where the cars can come off the track I like to build the paths under the station because you've got a cheeky boost on excitement. Okay, so we've unlocked the kiosk. So let's take a pause on what we're currently building. And we're going to put down kiosk. We'll do free maps, but we'll ram the price of the umbrellas up. It's rain twice at least. Mm 
There you go. And let's put another one. Let's do another one. Let's do another one down here. Um, put that purple. That's what color we're going to do the, the side friction. I think we'll also put one thing I'd like to do as well is whenever I put a kiosk down, I usually put a toilet down as well. That way you end up with loads of toilets around the park and it helps win best toilets award. So for that, you need a minimum of four toilets and then it's linked to, to the amount of guests in your park and how many of them need the toilet. And, Right, so we don't want to go up too high because we don't want to we don't want it going too fast. As I said, it's one of those coasters. Where it can come off the track, people can die if you're not careful. Dropping down from 35, so I figure uh, 25 should be fine. And then we can drop it down there, have a nice little diagonal. A little crossover. How's that done? Okay, but do you want to do that? Okay, that's fine. One thing I can do is if we find it. Yes, I know. I've got a very. I've got loads of saves. Just long press on the file name, and then we can come in and we can do a. We can rename it. It's done. One thing I have noticed as well is, I suppose it depends on your device, but the more saves that you do have, um, it does tend to slow down the loading and saving. which you don't tend to notice too much whilst you're playing because it's a very, very incremental slowdown. You only really notice it when you, when you wipe everything and you start afresh and you notice then how much quicker it is. Let's have a look to see what speed it's going down that. That's fine. I reckon that's fine. Um, because obviously the speed it's going now is one thing, but it is going to have guests on it, which will make the cars weigh a lot more, which will make them go faster down the hill. So we'll drop that down. Let's 
to change these. Cool. What's the stats like on this? 5.67. Yeah, we should be able to charge 10 to begin with. Why don't we just call it? Why don't we go something easy? Something easy. Friction. And we've got the wood. Is that the same color? Let's just do a little simple, quick, simple station. Some fences. Or ramp up. That way I can add the wood effect there. And also Sorry guys. Something there. Do the same thing there. I'll have a look in a second to see if any of them are where they shouldn't be. fence there one of these ones on the diagonal on the diagonal on the slope is that because that one's in the way doesn't like it for some reason There you go. Cool. 
two minutes all it took and it's giving it a little boost as well 65,000 not bad at all I think we'll call it there for part one if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon for part two bye <laughs>